Incoming transmission. Picture this. A recording studio somewhere far, far away. Welcome, Watchers of Illusion, to my Castle of Confusion on the 13th of November, and another week begins. And closer to Christmas we get, and it won't be long before the old Christmas intro makes a triumphant return. Today I'm looking at a Spectrum game, and it's based on a kid's TV show, which if, I, if you've never seen this, you need to see it. It's all pl made of plasticine, stop motion, and it was awesome. Yes, we're talking about Trapdoor. And uh, you've got two modes here, Learner Burke and Super Burke. Now, the game can only be completed in Super Burke mode. Uh, the idea is basically that you take control of Burke, the big blue blob in the middle of the screen there. And uh, you have to do your master's bidding, or I think it was called Him Upstairs or something like that. Um, it was written by Don Priestley, and it was uh, published in 1986 by Piranha Software. So there we go, there's our first task. He wants me to get him a can of worms. Now, I love the fact the graphics are so blooming big. I really do like that. It really is a homage to the the, uh, the TV show. If you've never seen the TV show, then you need to. It's so probably pick it up on Amazon for fairly cheap now these days. But uh, here we go. One of these is a tin can. I don't, I'm not sure if it's this one or if it's the one on the shelf down there. But you can pick out all these items up and there are multiple rooms to go around the castle. And uh, basically what you've got to do is you've got to um, do what the him upstairs says. So he wants a can of worms. So the first thing we're going to do is grab a can. I think opening a can of worms. Now that is that little spider thing at the bottom. That I think, believe if my, if my memory reserves me, is called Drut. And he's a pain in your ass during this entire task. You see the worms there, you come out the trapdoor, and you pick them up and drop them in the can. The problem is that Drut will also go around and try and eat them, which he does in uh, rather quick succession. Now, you can actually get Drut onto the trapdoor, flip him into the air, and drop him in, but the problem is that he does jump back out again when you reopen it. So, yes, yeah, he loves his worms, does Drut. It's just very frustrating when you need them, and you need them more than he does. You've also got Boney, the skull that you could see in the first screen there. There he is, animated really nicely as well. Uh, he will give you hints if you do you need hints. Just uh, pick him up off the shelf and he will be, give you ideas on what you need to do. I will show you that in a little while, actually, uh, just so you can see what happens. But um, I'm actually trying to grab hold of Drut there to try and put him on the trapdoor, but you can actually sort of entice him on anyway, flip him into the air as, as best you can. It's great fun. Just to watch him disappear into the trapdoor is kind of... It's very gratifying, I have to say. Especially when you've been trying to pick up these worms and pop them in this... There he goes again, a little sod. But never mind. Okay. It's very nicely animated. The only thing about the game is that there's not much um, in the way of sound. You could hear the classic theme on, on the uh, intro screen. But in the way of sound, there's not a lot, really. It's, it's quite... Uh, quite coarse sounding at times but uh, you know to be honest you don't really need a lot of sound in this game here we go there's the dumb waiter there on the right hand side of the screen you got your score in the bottom right hand corner by the way and uh, also there is the anger meter from him upstairs now if that reaches full you lose so you've got to keep him happy i think i've put like two worms in here or something like that so i'm going to stick this on the dumb waiter and send it up and he's just gonna have to like it or lump it i'm afraid but, uh, you know, aesthetically, I love this game. It's so nice. The, the characters are really, really big, which is nice. And there's no slowdown either. I mean, Burke does move fairly slowly. But if you've ever seen the uh, the cartoon show, you'll uh, you'll notice that he's pretty much like that anyway. Um, so, yeah, OK, but he wanted more worms. So the score multiplier now goes in and the anger meter will disappear to nothing. So enabling you to start again. So now we've got to wait for the next task to come in. And there's a variety of tasks. There's like he wants squished eyeballs, juice, or he wants fried eggs, or you know, just anything like that, really. I'm gonna have a little explore around the castle in a bit as well and show you round. Uh, fried eggs, he wants fried eggs, who wouldn't? So, there you go, Burke. I want some fried eggs. Now, if you remember this show, him upstairs had a very Burke, feed me kind of voice, so that was really cool. And um, Boney, <laughs> Boney also was awesome in the TV show. Very uh, sarcastic. So there you've, uh, you pick him up and he gives you a hint. So the frying pan, which looks nothing like a frying pan I have to say, but that's fine. What we've got to do is get the bird to come out of the trapdoor. 
Uh, sometimes the wrong monster will come out of the trapdoor. So you've got to be careful of that as well. And if memory serves, what we've got to do is... Well, I'm, I'm going to see if I can find... There's an object somewhere. It looks like a bullet, and I can't remember where to find it. But let's have a little look around. So there's the there's slimes there. That you can you can pick them up and, and whatever. This, uh, I think you, you put them under there when you need to do the crushed slimy thing. But you put them in the big vat that you saw in the other room. And uh, then it, that comes down and squashes... Oops, squashes me, apparently. Um, Burke does an amazing dance routine when he gets uh, splatted by that. But there you go. So yeah, you can go all around the castle. There's a fair few rooms to go through. The game keeps you busy, to say the least. So we're going to go through here. There you can plant um, eyeball... I think I think it's the eyeballs, yeah. You, you plant the eyeballs in these pots uh, when you get to do that. There's a packet of seeds somewhere. I honestly can't remember where anything is. It's been so long since I've played this game. So uh, please bear with me on that. But uh, hey, we, we su success successfully managed to do the first task. So... You can see there. There's the uh, there's the vat there. There's a cauldron as well. Uh, you can push those items around the room, so that's that's quite good, which you will need to do anyway. Um, I'm sure one of these had something in, but I can't remember how to tip it over. Never mind. That's fine. So we'll drop that, and we'll carry on. You can see there's a glass jar on the back, and what you would do with the squished eyeball one, I believe you put the you get there's a, like a jumping monster. You need to get him. You need to drop the things into the. You need to drop the eyeballs into the vat, move the vat into the uh, into another room, put the glass jar under it, and then get the get the springy thing to jump into the vat and squash them, very much like you would grapes for wine. Let's see what we can get anyway. Nope, we don't want him. Uh, let's see, let's see there. Oh, and here's the jumpy monster. We didn't want him. <laughs> okay, we're gonna have to try and get him back into the uh, trapdoor as quickly as possible. So that he doesn't, uh, you know, mess up my my game too much. But uh, you can see the worms are very, very prevalent here. They're still hanging around in great quantity. And uh, Drut will uh, come and eat those with great gusto. So we've got to try and get the jumpy thing back into the trapdoor. Because you can't have two monsters loose at the same time. So we've got to get him back in. There he goes. And then we're looking for a bird. There we are. That's the one we want. And uh, I'm going to leave this in a minute, but the way you get this guy to lay eggs is you put something on the trapdoor and fire it up his backside, which is great. So I'm going to put this thing on here, and I'm going to fire that up its bum. And then it goes into the next room and lays an egg, so you've got to get the, the frying pan in the right place, and all that stuff. So there you go. Anyway, ladies and gents, this has been Trapdoor on the ZX Spectrum. I'm going to let it play for a, a couple of more minutes for you. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. I will catch you on the next review. And uh, hello to new subscribers again. Great to have some more over the weekend. I hope you guys are, are all well. And hello to existing subscribers. You guys are awesome. I will catch you soon. My name's been Rich. This has been the Retro Revival Show for the 13th of November. I'll catch you again very soon. Take care and bye for now.